Yeah, you can do. Okay. Three, two, one, uh, wait. <laughs> 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 oh, wait, wait, no, 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 wait. I need to know, um... That's still so scenario. I need to know yeah. male or female, uh, oh, okay. trainer name, okay. rival name, although I think I know what that is. Chris <laughs> uh, <laughs> And, uh, squirrel name, please. And the name of the runner is still wrong. It's now I'm Blood Duster. Yeah, You're Blood Duster now. Yeah. I am Blood Duster. V R N G. This is the best Golden Sun run you'll ever see. <laughs> <laughs> so we have female as gender and. Rip five frames. <laughs> Lil B as trainer name. Is that L? Big L. I L uh, space B. Like the emote, Big yeah. B. Mm. Is it <laughs> good? <laughs> M, M. Bison is a Pokemon streamer yeah, who. Yeah, uh, that's cool. He uh, rival is Chris Rick. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> he suggested Pokemon Mystery Dungeon for the marathon yeah, and uh, it got cut, so um, he's here in spirit. Okay. Ready? Yep. Three, two, one, go. Okay, this is Fire Red, Leaf Green, any percent. I'm playing on Leaf Green, doesn't really matter. They're both exactly the same for this commentary. Uh, this run. <laughs> <laughs> so the first minute or so is just mas mashing through text. Uh, the timer, in-game timer hasn't even started yet. Oh, I picked boy. Is Reset. <laughs> <laughs> Reset You'll, you'll see plenty more of those in the next uh, few minutes. I'm going to mash B. Yeah. <laughs> oh, there we go. Cool. What's the uh, type on this? Is it just oh. uh, rival name is Chris Rick. Uh, lowercase Chris, all lowercase. <laughs> <laughs> oh, it's not enough space. Oh, we got oh, just <laughs> okay, R Chris Rip. R P in capital. R I P. R I P. Chris Rip. There you go. <laughs> Close enough. <laughs> Thanks for donating so much, by the way, dude. No problem. <laughs> I think that's the single most donated towards uh, incentive. Okay, the first thing I'm going to do is bonk off the snares. Uh, I'm going to be bonking a lot in this run. Uh, it saves a few frames when you turn. If you're stationary, there's like a little animation uh, when you turn, but by bonking off an object in front of you, uh, you skip like six frames or something like that. Uh, it adds up to a couple of seconds during the run. Okay, I'm assuming mashing stunts at the moment. Uh, there's an option to to pick what uh, L does. Um, I've set it to L equals A. It's an extra button to mash. And it also makes some of the menu in a little easier. And it also means that a help menu doesn't come up when you uh, accidentally press L. Okay, I need to save here because... Um, I need Squirtle with good stats. Oh, wow. Yes, there we go. <laughs> uh, all I'm looking for really is a special attack of 11. Uh, attack and speed do matter, but nowhere near as much. And we got a girl Squirtle first try, which is good because... Um, it makes no difference to the stats like in earlier generations, but Lorelei's Jinx has uh, attract, and Lorelei's Jinx is female, obviously. So having a uh, female squirt means you can't get attracted, and we can't go with that, unfortunately. <laughs> wow. Yeah. <laughs> that the beeps there only track the uh, L presses. Yeah. 
You can spam cappers for inevitable bad squirrel RNG. Okay, that's good. Okay, so we've got um, good attack. 11 is the most it can be with a uh, plus nature. Uh, good special attack and mm, not very good speed, but that doesn't really matter too much. So I grabbed the PC in the potion. Uh, the main reason for doing that is just having an extra potion is useful, but also dying in this fight is kind of possible. Uh, it's really unlucky if you do, but uh, if I died in this fight, I'd have to reset and find another Squirtle. So, I really don't want that to happen. The main way that um, you can lose this fight is if you get growled really early on. Uh, and then crit. That usually means you're going to die. And this... With 9 speed, I speed tie. And I won the last speed tie. Uh, if I didn't win the last speed tie, it'd obviously waste the time that... Um, uh, Bulbasaur takes to attack, so... Bit of good luck already. If you don't press start, i.e. to check stats, there's a little girl there that pops up that tells you to pause the game. Oh, that guy. Oh, that guy. A <laughs> uh, little girl that pops up to tell you how to press start. <laughs> I did go through a stage um, in single segment runs where I didn't check stats until the level up, so I'd never go in the pause menu. Um, and it was quite common for me to forget to press start and uh, end up wasting like three seconds talking to that little girl. Uh, I'm running from Pidges. I do want to kill something for experience, uh, but preferably a Rattata. Um, here we go. Level two as well, that's nice. Um, Hopefully I get a two shot. I don't kill a Pidgey because it only knows tackle. Um, whereas Rattata can use Tail Whip. It just means you take a little less damage for the uh, uh, final boss of the game, which is coming up in about eight minutes. You can go for it, yeah. We got a $10 donation from Swartz Dance, who is saying, Go me five. Keep your Yorkshire pride alive. And we got a ten dollar donation from Mads eighty seven forty one, with no comment. Thanks, guys. Thanks for donating. So I bonked off the counter there, um, again just to save those few frames. You'll see that ev everywhere. Um, yeah. Other than um, other than that, like when you enter a new area. Uh, obviously you're stationary, so you will get turn frames there. So if you can, it's usually better to um, step forward rather than turning. Just a minor little good habit to get into. Also, that grass that I walked around is known as the YOLO grass. Um, if if I don't get an experience kill, uh, I'll go through that grass. It saves a little time. Um, but uh, if I've already got one, you're almost definitely going to get an encounter if you go through that grass as well. Encounters work quite um, annoyingly in this game. Like the first six steps you take in a new area, you have a 1% chance of an encounter per tile. Um, after that, it's a 25% chance per tile. So you want to keep your steps in the grass as little as possible. This is so much better in Japanese. There you go. Okay, now we need to uh, catch some Pokemon. Oak just gave me some balls. <clears throat> and uh, I need uh, HM slaves. Uh, hopefully I'll get them both here. Of course I'm going to get no encounters. <laughs> Yep. There we go. That's got to be a clap. <laughs> or a clapper. Uh, so that means I have to um, not only catch a Pidgey on Route 3 or a Spiro, I have to get a Paris. Parises are just real big trolls. 
Uh, so this is world record pace, technically. <laughs> I don't know why I'm mashing. So that's how you use Pokeballs. <laughs> yeah. We figured out the story behind this guy. He has a deal going with a Pokemon to teach new trainers to just throw balls without weakening Pokemon first to boost Pokeball sales. <laughs> when you play this game, the nights can get long. So yeah, bonk off the old guy and then carry on walking. There's some more grass up here. Um, because there's only six tiles, or is it five? Five. I'm just going to YOLO through it because I've only got like a 6% chance or 5% chance of getting um, an encounter there. It'd take like half a second to walk around, but oh well. So sadly, Viridian Forest doesn't work the same way as in uh, Gen 1, where there's like tiles that just don't do anything. All these tiles just are the same, so. We're probably going to get a few encounters here. Uh, because we get repels in the next town, um, we don't get encounters in Mount Moon. So Viridian Forest is kind of like Fire Red's Mount Moon. It's nowhere near as bad, but... Average encounters are about three or four. Um, one is really, really rare, but once I had three one encounter forests in a row, and then never again. Oh, by the way, if you like this t-shirt that I'm wearing. <laughs> it's really nice. If you donate towards this run, I don't know how much we set it at. Let's say $10. You'll be entered into a draw to win a replica. You so, can also win Pokemon hats. Yeah, there's a quite a few prizes for this game, yeah, actually. <laughs> Do you want to show them off? There's a Pokedex there. I'll tell you this guy first, because uh, just works out quicker. <laughs> Where's Squirtle, by the way? Uh, behind the cabin. We got a $20 donation by Reggie Flame. He's saying, hi, Maeve. Yeah, right. May your little... May your Squirtle be beast and your trash can fast. Good luck and fun. Thank you, Reggie. Uh, Reggie was hoping to be here, but um, I guess he couldn't come. Nice. That would have actually lived on one HP if I didn't get that crit, so that did save a turn. Now, we need to see what my special is. Uh, that's not looking good. Oh, please don't do this to me. We wow. got two more donations. A $10 donation by Bufflingo Amoria saying good luck me vs RNG I will Kevin turtling as much as I can and please save the critters and we got a five dollar donation from Milt Curiosity without a comment still thanks okay so um, those two levels up I was looking for a plus two to my special attack uh, if I got it a level seven it means I had a really good squirrel if I got it a level eight it means I've got not a great squirrel but it would do I didn't get the plus two so um, there's probably going to be quite a few points where I'm going to miss damage ranges by ridiculous amounts of HP, like 1 HP, which is kind of annoying, but uh, we'll get through. It's really bad luck, like, it was like a 33% 30, chance of, uh, of um, getting that. It means my IV is like, um, uh, what is it, 21 to 24 or something like that. Not good. I could skip this trainer, but it's quicker to fight him because you get the levels, it makes the later. Um, Battles a bit faster. Usually, I'd want to try and uh, manipulate Torrent after the Weedle fight, uh, but because my special is so bad, even with Torrent, I probably wouldn't one shot some of these, so um, I don't really care at the moment. My speed is awful, by the way. Okay, let's not get sand attacked. <laughs> <laughs> this could be the end of the room. Okay, that's one. One more. Hey! Okay, 
Okay, I've learned with draw uh, that I'm never going to use that move, so I want to delete it. So the first thing I'm going to do when I uh, start the Brock fight is switch that move into my first position. Uh, it's really quick to do that, and it also means I can just mash A when I learn Water Gun, um, and that means it'll be in the first slot um, for the next battles. And I used L for that, uh, to do that rather than A, because my thumb is on uh, the select button. It just, mi just cuts out, you know, a few microseconds that it would take to switch my thumb over. Right, what's my defense? Okay, that's good. I'm not scared. So, Onyx's AI works... Um, he has Rock Tomb, which does a load of damage. It do about 10 damage with my current defense, uh, but he'll only use it if he can kill you with it. So um, I didn't really have to worry about that because I had so much HP. Like I was saying earlier, I'd, I'd usually want low HP after this fight um, because I don't know if I, I didn't explain Torrent, but Torrent is uh, Squirtle's Evolution's Lion's ability, which gives you a 50%. Um, boost the damage with water moves and it is pretty broken uh, especially later on when you start getting X specials uh, the damage boosts stack up and you can one shot pretty much everything there's a few exceptions we got a $10 donation from Cebu saying nothing thanks thank you he just really had to get in for this t-shirt I'm going to do a little bit of shopping now. That uh, TM that Brock just gave me, I'll sell that uh, so I can buy more goodies. Oops. Mashing too fast. So I need a Paralyze Heal here because I'm going to catch a uh, Paris. Um, he has a fixed bore and he can paralyze me, so I need to make sure I ha can heal that off. And when I say he can paralyze me, he will paralyze me. Okay, I get the running shoes now, which makes movement a little bit faster. Also makes it a little more awkward because uh, the movement in this game has a... Well, the, the speed has a direct uh, correlation with uh, the amount of mistakes you make because it's just, a, I don't know, I don't know, I don't even know what it is. It's just, um, the bike's terrible, the running shoes, it eats a few inputs every now and again and um, you'll probably see one or two little mistakes. Also, shout out to shorts, they're comfy and easy to wear. <laughs> nice. So, I'm hitting these with a water gun and then finishing with a bubble. Assuming that I managed to get to the move in one frame, it saves one frame per, per move because of the shorter text. Oops. I did press up then. What was I saying about uh, eating inputs? <laughs> the time um, that you get for Route 3 varies a lot. Um, if you have Torrent and good special, you one-shot everything here, pretty much. Uh, whereas I'm having to sit through all these string shot animations, and uh, it, I think it works out about a minute lost to optimal time, which is a shame. But we've got reasonably good uh, squirtle resets, so I'll take it. Yeah, if there's any donations, go for it, because Route 3 is pretty boring, especially without Tyrant. Alright, we got some donations in. We got $5 from That Drunken Dwarf, who's saying, Good luck, Meavers RNG. Hopefully this, this you can still get an awesome time with the Squirtle. Oh my God. Shoutouts to JC Choi, who I sucks at this game. Potion. Then we got a $10 donation from Tricon, who's saying, For surety. 
And then we got the $10 donation from Salad, who is saying, Hey Myth, good luck on the run, hope you get fantastic RNG and great time. Thanks for being such a great beacon for the Fire Red community. Make sure you save before Giovanni 1. Don't want to lose a bet or anything. Kappa. Thanks, Salad. Salad's a really cool guy. I could have just gone with that and not antidoted and potion uh, antidoted afterwards, but because I'm not one shotting these, then I didn't want to take the risk. A crit would have killed me. Actually, I probably would have died to poison damage. Okay, so now we're going to start catching Pokemon after the next battle. Uh, there's a 50-50 chance of getting a flyer in the um, in the grass here, although no doubt I'll get 12 Jigglypuffs and at least one or two Nidorans. Oh come on, not even. No. Not even one crit on the whole route. Yes! <laughs> Who said complaining never got you anywhere? <laughs> Yay. Level 6. I'm going to tackle this because I think I can ball ball it and it leaves on a few HP but I don't want to take any risks. <laughs> Down and beast rats. Works every time. There you go. Yeah. Bad squirrel. <laughs> <laughs> Okay, I'm gonna go quiet here. There's a bit of menu in and uh, some movement. I'm gonna pick up some items in Mount Moon uh, and I'll sort of explain them as I use them, I guess. Also, I'm going to menu on this tile specifically. I'll explain it shortly. I always repel last because it'll be, the cursor will be on it when you come to refresh. Okay, so uh, I guess I'll explain um, why I did it on exactly that tile. Um, there's a trainer just up there that runs around. Um, and if you let the repel run out just here, you can take a step forward, skip the turn frames, and then run straight past her. Oh my god, not if you bunk. <laughs> Anticlimax. Sorry. Uh, get an ether here. Um, this is more complex to um, explain, but this category used to get mega punch, um, but I actually dropped that from the route. Uh, and I need a ether to um, make up for the amount of PP nice. lost. Yeah, Paris is 100% encounter here. I think Down and B every time. <laughs> uh, that was really lucky. Paris can be a real troll. I didn't get paralyzed either. I'm gonna grab this safety revive here. I wouldn't normally do that in uh, 
in single segment runs. Oh, first spinner in the game coming up. Past. Uh, if you run past him, he looks towards you, so you just gotta sort of uh, stop running. There is a range to it as well, so you do it a few, a few tiles early and then he, look, he doesn't look towards you. Um, you saw as well I equipped a, a berry. That berry heals confusion in battle. Um, I really want it for Misty, but um, there's a Zubat here that also knows the no supersonic and it can ease it up, which will be quite annoying, but it's better than being confused. Which is why I equip it there rather than waiting until Misty. There you go. Oh, hey, it missed. Oh wow. Okay, now we get uh, War Total. Okay, so in the last appearance this category made, uh, Marathon at SGDQ 2013. Uh, MBM used a strat where he cancelled the evolution here and a, and the next time as well so he could learn Bite early. Uh, that is actually kind of a good idea. Um, and we actually use Bite strats in single segment runs now. But that's not the way we get it. Uh, I picked up a rare candy. Um, and there's also another one in uh, Cerulean. And we just give those to Squirtle, uh, sorry, War Turtle before the Misty fight. And we get Bite. And it does officially work out quicker. Official, no matter what worst it is. Kappa. <laughs> oh, no. oh, thank god that missed. Uh, it makes the... Um, you can finish the Misty fight in five turns, you, uh, which means you don't... Well, I say you don't have to, but... Um, you've got about a coin flip's worth of chance uh, of not having to potion at all. So for single segment runs, we just don't get the super potions from the shop, which saves another 10 seconds on that as well. And the old Misty Strats were really stupid. Uh, 32, 40. And I'm in Torrent here, so if I had good special, I could one-shot this. But I'm almost certain I'm not going to. Yeah. Hail Helix, I guess. <laughs> okay, so. Yeah. Learning each of these moves takes about 20 seconds. So, although those items that I picked up take about 20 seconds. Um, hang on. I don't want to teach over the wrong move. Yeah, uh. It sort of cancels out, but the benefits of not having Mega Punch outweigh the uh, positives of having it, so um, yeah, it's worth it. Not having Mega Punch means there's an extra slot in your move pool for uh, another water move, uh, which makes PP management a lot easier, because uh, you can one-shot a lot of things with your weaker water move. Uh, it means you, d you have to heal. When I first rerouted this game, uh, my first objective was to cut all Pokemon centers out of the oh my god, out of the uh, out of the run, which I did. So there's little ways we can get around doing Pokemon centers. Even though I said I don't usually get the super potions, I'm going to because it's a marathon and Misty, Misty. <laughs> What I would usually do um, is uh, use the rare candy and, put, and do all this menu here. Um, what am I doing? There we go. Sorry. Uh, 
after as soon as I got the second rare candy. Um, because I'd be able to check my attack stat, and depending on how high your attack is, usually tells you whether you want to get the super potions or not. And the reason is, um, if Mega Kick does a little bit too much damage, Misty will potion. Um, which means you, she'll take more turns to kill and you need more health. So if you've got on the, the lower end of attack, um, you can safely not get the super potions. Okay, now we have to hit some mega kicks, which, <laughs> let's just see. Okay, Harden's actually good. If it didn't Harden, um, mega kick would take it into potion range. I don't know if that's good enough. I'm going to Mega Kick again. Usually Mega Kick and a Bite would do there, but that because I've got bad special, I'm not confident about that. Okay, one more Mega Kick. Yeah, and that didn't do, do too much, I don't think. Yeah, it's fine. But I do have to potion now, unfortunately. Trust me, if we were using old Misty Struts, I would still be fighting Misty right now. Okay, Misty's going to give me water balls now, which is a really good move. Hmm. I'd usually switch my moves around, but I've been a bit lazy with it, so in the next battle I'm going to uh, sort all that out. So, no Pokemon Center? Hmm. Mm, I don't really need it. I'm going to anyway because it's a marathon and this fight can be a troll. And I'm going to save as well. Usually I wouldn't potion there because Torrent is good after this, but... I don't know. Oh yeah, hi Chris Rick. I only have one Mega Kick as well. So maybe I should have sent it, but... Standard attack's bad. I'm going to have to uh, switch out. I really need this Mega Kick to hit. I'm actually going to use Bite. Because I, I, I'm hoping for the flinch. No, I didn't get it. It's not really that bad. I've got so much HP that I can take a few Vine Whips. It's Leech Seed I don't want. Okay, last Mega Kick. Hey. Clutch. Abra only knows teleport, obviously, so he's not scary at all. I could skip the super effective text if I had torrent with the water balls, but it doesn't do enough. I'd really like to take more damage, but... Yeah. That's probably, apart from the first one, the easiest rival fight. The others can be a little more trolley. And he even comes back and insults you some more. Oh, 
Okay, there's any donation comments, now's the time because uh, Nugget Bridge is resident sleeper. Donate. Please donate. Please do. Please put a Pokemans. <laughs> I'll try and uh, have a look at chat. Press the power button to go to the final trainer. Another thing worth mentioning, if you know anything about Pokemon speedrunning, you'll probably already know it, is that um, if you talk to the trainers rather than running the vision, you skip the uh, exclamation mark. Oh my god. I could have avoided that. Usually a bite would be fine there, but obviously I've got bad specials, so it becomes a range. Oh well. So because my HP is so high, I'm going to use that ether in this battle. Um, oh, wow. That was bad. I just did something really stupid. Okay, so I'm going to double bite the Oddish. So hopefully I'll take some more damage. No one noticed I just accidentally used the ether on the on water course instead of Mega Kick, which is terrible. Um, but we've got so much HP, it doesn't matter. Loses about 10 seconds. We get another ether in a minute anyway. That can't be helped. That's just bad uh, special attack. What's the timer, by the way? I can't see. 37.01. Oh. Yeah. No. <laughs> Let's my speed up. Okay, so I'm going to lose the speed tie to Mankey. Um, so not the speed tie, sorry. I'm going to be outsped by Mankey, uh, which is fine because I'll take damage, hopefully. Um, which will put me closer to the torrent. die to this guy, which you never do, but if you do, uh, when you go back and fight him, he gives you another nugget, and you can do that as many times as you want. <sighs> wow. Um... I guess I have to heal it off.
At least I'm a torrent. So I'm used to that noise in single segments, so... We got a $5 donation from Z JC Shoei. He's saying good luck on the run, me versus RNG. Also, shout out to the Squirtle Enthusiastic Society. Thank you. Who is that from, sorry? Justin Troy, I think, is that? Okay, that elixir there was... Uh, that lets you skip the Pokemon Center before Rock Tunnel. Sorry, I didn't hear that. Who donated that? Thank you. There's a spinner coming up here. Hopefully I don't hit it. <sighs> RNG. It's not too bad. It's only got one poke. There's worse spinners to hit. Am I going to die? Okay, good. Oh, nice. <laughs> <laughs> That's usually a one shot, but like I say, bad special. Probably gonna miss those ranges all day long. Okay, there's uh, a little thing coming up here um, that uses the uh, turn frame skip that I mentioned earlier by bonking. Uh, there's a runner, a uh, trainer going up and down who can catch you. Usually you'd have to wait for him, but if you skip the turn frames uh, just before him, you can uh, just run straight past him. It's really tight. I think it's like three or four frames. You've got to do it. Uh, it's not too bad, but we'll see. We got a $15 donation from Mariesa saying, Pokemon hype? Awesome run so far. Wish I could have been there for it. Put this for its runner's choice, if possible. So, um, kill the animals, please. Yes. Kill the animals. Okay, let's go. Please don't mess this up. Please don't mess this up. I don't think I, I didn't do it. I'm pretty sure a bite would, be, would have been fine there, but after all those other damage ranges I missed, I've not taken the risk. Okay, so here's one of the places where I lose time by picking the girl. Um, there, Bill just called you lady. In, um, if you pick the boy, he calls you pal. So I just lost one frame for picking the girl. There's a couple of other instances of that. Thank you. 
So I've picked up another ether there before Bills. Um, I'm going to have to use that now. Because um, there's a Drezzy coming up. That, hmm, there's a Drezzy and a Riker coming up that I'll need to make a kick. There we go. Probably would have lived if I didn't get the crit, so that's good. We got a $25 donation from Haku Panda saying good luck to all the runners and thanks everyone for doing this marathon. Oh, and please save the animals. Oh, why would you save the animals? So, mega so after I just ethered, uh, <laughs> ethered my mega kicks. Drezzy decided to disable them. So I had to use Bite anyway. He also near, very nearly put me to sleep, but it missed. That would have been annoying. So TM28 contains Dig and not Tombstoney. Remember that for later. Again, that's an instance of risking an encounter just to save in a bit of time. If you mess up the movement there, you can end up getting an encounter, but because we kept it to as few tiles as minimum, uh, I, you very rarely get one. Right now, I have to mega kick that. Usually, I'd be able to water pulse that if I was in Torrent, but. Um, I have to go with the mega kick. And I'm getting that ether. I don't actually need that, but because I used that other one, um, it's nice to have a backup ether just in case, you know, stuff misses and etc. I'm only going to buy three parallel hills because I've already got one. Save a bit of money. Uh, Salad, the guy who um, donated earlier, reckons he can skip that shop. But um, I don't like to go into a surgery gym without Parallel Hill, so oops, I'm not going to. Okay, we're going to go looking through bins now, which is always fun. All these berries have a use. So it's very nice of Game Freak to put them all in one place. And now uh, Chris Fripp's going to make another appearance. I equip the chest over there because it wakes you up from uh, sleep and like with the last battle um, I can get put to sleep by Wolverton. I use bite first there to try and prevent against sand attack but because you can get the flinch with bite 
Uh, so... He decides to do it anyway. Please die. Very good. That's not too bad. Just extra text. And if I hit this with a mega kick, mm, I might go for a little strat. Let's see. Hmm. gonna do the normal one. Brr, 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 brr. So some people teach Dig to uh, oops, to War Turtle, um, but it's faster to teach it to Paris because Paris only has a couple of moves, so you don't get the texts um, for learning the new move, for deleting a move, should I say? And it keeps that slot free in your move pool to uh, keep one extra water move. Asking for a roll call. I'm EVRNG. I am Things Palace. I'm Flippy O. This is Jack Dukes. Anyone who knows my channel knows Jack Dukes. So, everybody's favourite part of the game, right? Trash cans. Chat can go ahead and spam Kevin Turtles. Wait, that was pretty good. Uh, in RTAs, you can do a little trick here by <laughs> just saving the game. And if you get it wrong, you can just reload. Like that. Oh, what? Did anyone see that? I uh, I picked the wrong one, reset, and then um, before I reset, I pressed A, and then the next can was that one. Cool. There you go. Oh wait! Just ignore me. Sometimes I do stupid stuff like that. <laughs> okay. It's fine, I need to fight this guy. No static. We got a two dollar donation from Gustav. He's saying, "Hey, all, especially the guy in the fancy shirt. He looks fancy as hell." Thank Whoever you. that is. Oh, I think the T-shirt. Oh, right. Okay. I'm sure you look just as fancy. <laughs> <laughs> It's 
time is it? Um, 53, 58, 54. 53. Now. Or 54 now. That's quite bad. Okay, Screech is good. No damage is awesome. So this is the hardest fight in the game. Um, it's not a com complex fight, it's just really RNG heavy and that's good, it gives me an extra turn because uh, he'll heal the confusion. So hopefully his Mega Kick hits and we'll be all good. Of course not. I didn't quit the berry, did I? So once this fight's out of the way with things sort of uh, get a little bit more straightforward. Okay, good. There we go, surge down. And of course I didn't need the berry that time. Typical. Any donation comments? Okay, this is a scary little bit of movement here. Okay, I heard it. Uh, the amount of times I've bonked off that wall and just run into the path of that girl, it's really annoying. And especially being paralyzed as well. It's not brave. Okay, now we have the bike, so uh, movement gets a lot faster and a lot more haphazard, I guess. Yeah, the music's a lot happier. Happy music hype.
So this Bell Spray is really stupid. Um, but I have like pretty much min minimum acceptable special attack here. And yeah, okay, I got the crit, but uh, <laughs> it gets left off. It, I've seen that die in one hit to um, with a squirrel with minimum special attack. And I've seen it live uh, to a bite on a plus special attack nature squirrel with a 31 IV. So um, my usual strat is to use water pulse if I'm in tyrant, which is slightly more, even though it's not very effective. Move. Uh, book catcher kind of B coming up. So these rare candies I'm saving up um, will allow me to get last dose early. And I really don't want to talk very much in the next couple of minutes. Uh, so I don't know if you want to hype anything or talk about the charity. That'd be good. Since the announcer is falling asleep, <laughs> um, I'll just talk about uh, what ESA is for. It's Doctors Without Borders. They're raising money for children all over the world and like just religion and stuff and helping out. So yeah, and Pokemon Hype, guys keep on donating. You can win a lot of stuff. You can win a Pokedex, you can win the shirt, you can win a Pokemon hat. Squirrel plushie. <laughs> Squirtle plushie indeed. Yeah, and that's so, that bit of movement there is actually quite tricky. That's the out of any part of this run that I practiced before. Uh, before this, it was that bit of movement because with the bike and being in the dark, it was uh, it just makes it pretty tricky. So I'm glad I got that. But yeah, Doctors Without Borders is an awesome charity. Like <laughs> to go into some of the areas that they go to is just like incredible, and they deserve the support of everyone really. So. Get your donations in, win some prizes, and don't die to Picnic or Martha. This girl is known as the Run Killer. Um, she, she's got two Pokemon. Uh, both of them take a Mega Kick um, to, ki to to knock out. But if you miss one, bad things happen. Okay, that's the scary part over. Okay, that's good. That's what I wanted. We got a $20 donation from Jiminyas, who is saying this donation goes towards saving the animals, because we have to survive at least one speedrunning marathon per year. Thank you everyone for this entertaining marathon. But animals are meant to be killed.
Oh my god. <laughs> So here's an example of where having that extra water move is really useful. Um, we can use a water gun against these rock types. And if I had better special, I'd bite that to save the super effective ticks, but no. So Navigating Rock Tunnel is all about visual cues. Um, there's pretty much a, like there's a set path to each room that you can follow, and there's usually one little bit of information from the background you can pick up to time your uh, movement. If I had Torrent here, um, I'd be able to use Water Gun on pretty much everything in here. Uh, by the way, 420 hype. Uh, hello? Is there no input? No. Oh my god. The battery's <laughs> fine. There you go. <laughs> nice. <laughs> <laughs> Shout out to the Game Boy Advance SP. So every time, every now and again, I just sort of uh, check my stats at level up just to see where we are. Well, not too bad. Speed's awful. Specials nowhere near as good as it could be, but. Okay, that guy's really bad to hit because uh, he has three slow pokes, and with bad special, oops. Um, with bad special, they might not die in one shot, so it can be really annoying. That's rock to know. Thank God that's over. So we're gonna go to Rocket HQ now. Underneath the game corner. You actually have to do that in this game. Um, unlike in Gen 1, where you could just skip Marowak with the Pokedon.
Even though I have Water Gun, which is super effective against those guys, it wouldn't be enough to take out in one with that turret. So I have to use a Water Portal there. Also, there was a twin battle there, and um, oops, accidentally getting into a twin battle is terrible. Because the only other Pokemon I have is like level 2, right at the end of level 5, um, level 2, whatever, you know, low levels. And uh, by winning the double bat battle, I'd end up getting a ton of levels, which is really annoying. I have done it once in a room. This part of the game is pr always pretty straightforward. It's always like you pretty much always use the same moves. Things always die in one shot. Um, it's better if you have torrent for this section. There's a couple of trainers in a in a while that it makes a difference on, but uh, it's a really easy section of the game and not a lot happening to be fair. Although we do get Blastoise in a moment. Pokemon dramas from that. <laughs> yeah. Oh god. So that's an example of where I'd want Torrent, because that would have gone down in one. I don't think I've had Torrent for a single fight that I needed it for so far. So these battles are the downside to that strat way, 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 way back when we got bite early. Uh, if we didn't get bite early, we'd have one extra rare candy here to use uh, to get Blastoise, and these would go down. 
But you sort of wait up by saying, well, if I've got Torrent, I will take these out in one. So for it to be worthwhile, really, in the long run, you need to have Torrent for these battles. But we don't, so shame. Blastoise hype. A full thing hype. I have exactly the right amount of water pulses as well. I'll have to eat them afterwards. But. Assuming you have Torrent for the whole of um, Rock Tunnel, uh, you wouldn't have to eat the water pulses at all. Sure. Don't die. This should kill. Okay. okay. Oh, well. Good. I think I was okay, but because I got torrent by that mega, by getting yeah. that mega punch, so I think that would have been fine. But the crit just made sure. I won't complain. I'm gonna do shopping now. This is where things get a little broken. Also, there's a, n a fairly recent optimization here where usually you do your fifth floor shopping first. But I actually do second floor first just because um, it makes menu management a little bit easier. It probably saves a few inputs. And yeah, I do buy X attacks last for a reason. It just because I only use them in one fight, so it makes sense to have them right down at the bottom. So n now we're about to get fly, and uh, fights become a lot less scary now because the death. Wouldn't wouldn't be as punishing now. Um, you just fly to wherever you were. Whereas before, well, how many Pokemon centers have I been to? None. So you do actually end up back in Cerulean, which is weird. It sort of sets a flag um, if you don't go to any Pokemon centers, which is kind of weird. But little menu. I'm going to use two normal potions here rather than one super potion because I want my uh, HP to be low. Oops, 
so I forgot to repel. Now Chris Rich is back. Because this is the first time I'm going to use an egg special. Um, egg specials raise. Um, the stat that it's related to by one stage, which in terms of X specials means that you get a 50% boost first one you use, and then it's like plus 100%, plus 150% for each one after that. Um, with Torrent, that's really useful, you do a lot of damage. So I don't want the flinch here. I want I want him to uh, thrash and wow. That's not going to do hit, uh, but that should be fine anyway. Uh, that's really rare not to two hit. So my special is just diabolical basically. But at least I have tyrant. That's fine. Where am I going? Yeah, this is really not very clear on an LCD, on a CRT. See a thing? Move. Don't do this to me. Oh. <sighs> it's not too bad, it's one extra Pokemon, but. I don't know, that might have been like the third time I've ever hit that girl in a year and a half, so... It's really rare for those sort of slow spinning ones to actually get you. Also, you can see, like, me using Water Gun here, how many Pokemon I have to defeat. Uh, you can sort of see how having that extra water move is helpful uh, in terms of not having to heal, heal up uh, PB. So 
the reason why I wanted to torrent was mainly for this fight. You get one shot rather than uh, it taking two. But also, um, Koga's coming up. And uh, I suppose we'll get to Koga when we get to Koga. He's sort of. You can manipulate what moves he used by what HP you have. And there's a very sort of specific range of HPs that you can have to encourage, let's say. I don't want to say manipulate because sometimes it just doesn't happen. But yeah, to encourage the optimal um, fight. Uh, it's about 40 to 45, I guess. So if I take a couple of quick attacks here um, against the Ratatas, I'll be on like what, 15 HP, 16 HP, I'll be able to um, pop a potion in, a couple of rare candies, and then we'll be, you know, we'll be somewhere in that range. I've also got my uh, Citrus Berry from the Surge fight that never got used. That restores 30 HP. Uh, having all sorts of different items that restore a different amount of HP um, is useful for that fight. There are berries you can pick up that restore 10 HP, but I don't bother with those, that's slow. I'll be getting surf soon and I want to teach it over water. Excuse me. Over water gun. So it makes sense to have it there again. Don't trust my special attack to take that out. Okay, so yeah, that's good. I'll take a level up here, I'll be on 20 HP. I can just stick a potion in. Um, I'll be on enough HP. Also, that spinner that I hit. Um, if I hadn't have hit her, I wouldn't have got a level there. We got a five dollar donation from Anonymous saying money goes towards poker girls. Choice if possible. Uh, kill the animals. All right, kill the animals. You have heard it. I'm sorry for allowing you to listen to that music for, for so long. <laughs> Please, everyone at home, stay strong. Don't do it. There's always someone to help. And now we have the tea. Uh, which is what you use to uh, give to the guards. Um, in the uh, towers to get into saffron. You used to do it with like water from the vending machine or whatever drink, but it doesn't work in this game. You need that key item. Okay, there's a tricky spinner dodge coming up. Uh, 
Um, when I first oh, um, when I first started speedrunning this game, I didn't realize pressing B there stopped you um, on your bike. So I used to try and like uh, snipe those just completely out of the air. I suppose the practice paid off, but it is much easier to use B. Okay, we're gonna go into Safari Zone and catch loads of Pokemon. Ah, oh, I changed my mind. Shout out to round two. It's a we really good uh, category of this game. You have to catch 60 Pokemon, be the Elite Four once, and then do all the Sevi Island quests and uh, be the, the improved Elite Four. I think I might work a little bit more on that category after ESA. Oops, oh my god. We got a five dollar donation from Anonymous saying Mevin Turtle, Mevin Turtle, Mevin Turtle, Mevin Turtle, Mevin Turtle, Mevin Turtle. Ha. <laughs> <laughs> hmm. Thanks. <laughs> Figure this out. Twenty, forty. Yeah, that's fine. So we're actually going to fly from inside the uh, safari zone. It's a little bit quicker to do that than uh, retire or anything like that. Uh, also, there's a spinner that's so devastating to my run that I'm actually literally going to save in front of him because he can mess things up. There you go. <laughs> uh, that, same, that, that seemed excessive, but the amount of times he's just wrecked my run, I don't trust him. He's got a Hypno that doesn't die easily. Because I'm just in Torrent here, I can one-shot everything here with um, Surf. This is actually perfect HP for, uh, for Koga, so fingers crossed. What will probably happen will I will live I will live on one HP and then sleep. Uh sweep. Not sleep. Live on one HP and sweep. Oh my gosh. I've ne okay, that's never happened before where I've hit Go. I've hit both <laughs> this stupid standing trainer and the other stupid standing trainer. Wow. Like. Ugh. It's a good job I have Torrent. The sad thing is, I'm gonna gain a level here. Now, I don't even know what this guy has as his third Pokemon, but if I'm not in Torrent, it might mean I can't one shot it. And if it attacks me, it'll mess up. Uh, everything related to Koga. I guess I could have just reset there and gone past that trainer. Uh, maybe I will. Let's see. Can we get a roll call and the couch, please? It's fine. Uh, yeah, I'm EVRNG. I'm Tingles Palace. And I'm Flippy O. That's fine. I have strats. Already on that menu. Oh, 
Where are you? There you go. Please give me one more plus three. Hmm. We'll see. <laughs> okay, no, definitely if I wasn't going down to one HP, I definitely will be now. Right, we need to see Sludge off Coffin, otherwise it's probably a reset. I don't know. That should be fine. It's fine. We got this. Oh yeah, so this is a sweep now, so it's just uh, it's just getting those two um two X specials off and being in Torrent. Did you see how much the sludge did by the way, I didn't notice. Did you see how much the second sludge did? Um no I didn't notice. Mm. I'm sorry. I think it was eighteen damage. Sorry? Eighteen I think. Eighteen. One big sweat out of the way. <laughs> right now we're gonna go and get strength and then fly to cinema. Okay, and this is the other point where you lose time for uh, having the girl. Thank you, Lassie. As a boy, he calls you lad, so it's three more frames gone. Thanks. Oh, I didn't repel it. Need the uh, Mario Sunshine Orchestra in here. <laughs> oh. Another elixir there, uh, that does come into play later. Um, during the Elite Four. Okay, bye bye Mega Kick. I won't miss you. Replace one stupid inaccurate move with a slightly better stupid inaccurate move. <laughs>
I never get to answer questions. Uh, make sure you press mash B when you're um, after you've answered the question because you can quite easily talk to the uh, machine again. Quite interestingly, in round two, you're the Catagrins game. Uh, you actually fail one of these on purpose uh, to give some Pokemon some levels to get them to evolve. Seems to apparently it's the quickest place to do it. So does everyone remember what I said about TM28 earlier? Check my speed after I knock this out. Um, if I don't have really good speed, well, not really good, but if I don't have, I know how much it is, but if I don't have the right speed, I'll have to heal and use some exciting. No, I don't have anywhere near enough speed. Um, no burn. Okay. So hopefully using this X-Speed I'll take enough damage to get put back into Tyrone. Yeah, that's right. Um, if I wasn't in Tyrone there, I'd have to use an X-Special, so... It's fine. because I hit that spinner. Damn. Um, uh, let's just go, let's go save. Let's go really save. One more song. <laughs> oh, let's see how much it pulls this. Wow. <laughs> nice. Can I have my full restore back? <laughs> I think I might take a tiny little detour here because I used that full restore. Just grab a few uh, hyper potions from this shop here, it's really close. So. Uh, it wouldn't hurt. It also, also the money that I spent, I'd spend there. I'd only spend on four restores anyway, so it just means I have more. By the way, if you press A here on that question, you might as well turn the uh, console off. <laughs> I'm doing this, but because I have no surf PP, I'm just gonna take this enter. It's because I hit that um, trainer in Koga Gym. And because of, because of that, I'm going to take Saffron 
before I take Erika. Uh, if you had Torrin there, and if you actually had Surf PP, you'd do Erika first, because um, you can take out the victory bar with a torrented Surf, rather than having to hit two blizzards. It's a very minor um, optimization, I guess. Also, this guy needs to move. Please. There you go. And this is the last spinner in the game, but it's also the hardest to avoid. No, that's not it. I think that's good. Hey. So I hit all the easy ones and avoided the hardest one to dodge. But yeah, no more spinners now. I'm going to take super, super safe strats here. Um, I'm going to use two X specials in this fight. Um, I just have a feeling that a Blizzard might not take out the uh, Venusaur with my bad special. And the fact that I didn't get the levels from Erika, I've just got a bad feeling if I went with one. It wouldn't, um, wouldn't kill. And that crit's fine. I actually want to take damage to get back into Tyrant. I've never seen it live in an any percent run, but in round two, where you don't use the rare candies and things like that, uh, I've seen that Venusaur live quite a lot, so I'd rather be safe. It's sad because I'm can't actually attack him. He has like can't mine future sight, which I guess could do damage. But by the time you, uh, it would get off. You've killed him anyway. So. Sorry if you wanted to see Lapras. So again, getting, getting put into Torrent would be really useful in the next fight. Um, it'd save a turn against Kangaskhan, and also save a turn in the Sabrina fight. And a turn in the fight after that. Uh, so we have to pray for the, to the RNG. But I get Del, what? But 15 damage or something, is it? If I get poison here, it's bad. I really have to not get poison. Oh. It's fine, it's fine, it's fine. I got the Becca Berry. The strats, I forgot about that. It never got used on Koga, so... 
it saved the day. But I didn't get put into Tyrant, but no. Yeah. It's fine. Yeah, so Kanga's gonna take two. I would really like him to have uh, attacked me. Okay, so I'm not getting the Master Ball there. Which can only mean one thing. No Zapdos. Uh, that used to be the strap for this category. Well, a long, long time ago now, but yeah. We don't do that anymore. Even in round two now, um, a lot of people don't get Zapdos anymore. We get Mewtwo instead. Um, if you want to, I just saw in chat someone asked any tips. Um, if you want to know absolutely anything about this game, go over to my uh, Twitch. And um, there's a link in the bottom left uh, to the most extensive resource on this category you'll find. It's about 30 pages long. Uh, just all um, where the hidden items are. Like, things like... Um, the damage table for Onyx's Rock Tomb, depending on what defense you've got, etc. Loads of really useful stuff, so. But if you were to start Pokemon Speedrun, I wouldn't suggest this category. Um, at the moment, this, this category is pretty fun to race, because there's a few uh, really cool characters in the community at the moment, and we, we try to uh, race whenever we can, and it's always a lot of fun. But uh, in terms of single segments, you'll spend a lot of time um, resetting. I'm just going to save here just in case. Uh, there's a lot that can go wrong in this room. Unlike a lot of speed the Pokemon speedruns where things will be pretty easy all the way through and then you've got one ridiculously hard fight, it's not really like that in this game. You've got a lot of 50-50 fights where you can pretty much just die at any point. Like, just sit there flipping coins and try and flip 15 heads in a row. That's what this game's like sometimes. Right. I'm just going to reset that. I'm going to use it. I just need to hit two uh, uh, blizzards, which is, <laughs> funnily enough, 50-50, as I just said, so... We leave Erica till late um, because you just can't you can't do it when you're first in uh, Celadon. You have to get Blizzard first. There's no point taking her on without it.
Alright, so that's seven badges. We're going to Viridian. No, we're not. I forgot to get a badge. <laughs> 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 Whoops. Psychic. <laughs> wow, <laughs> that's never happened before. Go! <laughs> 82 on a that's not ha that never happened before counter. Oh my god. So yeah, I'm sure there's something else I should be doing here. Sabrina is pretty free. Uh, you just gotta use an X speed, and if you're not in Torrent, you gotta use an X special as well. Oh man, I actually wanted that as well because uh... Torrent. Uh, yeah, Torrent. Okay, for some reason you can dig out of this gym. No idea why. It's the only one you can. Yeah. Oh, that makes sense, yeah. Okay, now we can fly to Bridgen. Are there any donation comments? Oh my god, no donations. Donate guys. Donate guys. Do it for the Pokemon. Everything you can win. Say Takashi three times fast. So this gym is just ridiculously easy, like everything dies to one hit, there's just a lot of text because pretty much everything's super, um, weak to water. Only one thing in the entire gym will outspeed me and that's the um, Dugtrio. 
and he could kill me with the crit, maybe, like, I don't even think it would, but he might, I've seen it do silly amounts of damage, um, but the chances of dying are so low, I'm not even going to bother potion him, in before crit. We got a $5 donation from Baffling Amoeba saying, No donations? Gross. Here's an extra $5. Thanks, Amoeba. Don't crit. Okay. <laughs> I've never actually seen it use slash before. For real. That's not ever happened. It's always used earthquake. I, I didn't even know that had slash. 83. Yeah, that's, ne ha that's never happened before counter. Oh my god, can't talk. I know. <laughs> Yeah, before, the, before I did this run I said um, I've seen so much of this game that I don't believe that I'll have, I'll have anything to put on that chart. <laughs> and I've already managed to put three, that's Pokemon for you. Could use water pulses there, but um, for some of the weaker stuff, but Surf's less text, so the PP's mapped out. So I used the Max Elixir after Sabrina. Um, and then I've got two surfs for the rival fight, which is exactly what I need. Here's Chris Rip again. <laughs> this fight has some significant setup. Go to XP first. It's fine. I need to use three X specials. Don't you dare crit. Could have bit that. Uh, that's bad actually. I need to hear all this because uh, this won't go to anyone.
Are you joking me? Oh my god. <laughs> Damn. Should have water force to be safe, but. We got a $5 donation from Anonymous saying, I felt mm -hmm. sad hearing there were no donations. Love watching Pokemon speedruns. Keep up the good work. Hurt yourself. Good. Nice. I just killed the Alice because I'm with water pulse in one shot. Uh, yeah, I accidentally used my last surf on uh, Rhyhorn, so usually I would have used a surf there, but the clutch struts are clutch. What's the time up, by the way? 2.07. Okay. I'm just finishing the Elite Four in the, in the uh, PB video. If you're watching it side by side. Yeah. The first sort of hour of the run wasn't very good. Uh, but it's gone pretty smooth so far since Surge. these physical moves for um, Laurelie pretty much well serve strength is to um, strength to move these boulders but yeah we need physical attacks because um, Laurelie's Pokemon are like water and ice and we have surf and blizzard so we need something that can beat those it's also the only fight where you use X attacks Shoutouts to hitting standards. I don't do it very often myself, but there's a few funny highlights on a lot of Pokemon speedrunners. Um, Twitches of hitting standing trainers that don't even try to look at you in this thing. There's one in particular that's got a chance to see that. Oh man. This guy called Svein, who uh, run, used to, well, at least used to run Fire Red round two, hit the Chansey girl on a really good run. And it just, he had to reset. He was fine for about five minutes and then just gave up. Because you can't kill it in one shot and it can heal. And he just kept doing it over and over again. It's Oops. that girl there. We got a free dollar donation from M Bison Feud, say, who's saying, "Awesome ESA, keep the work, guys. Shoutouts to every Pokemon runner and my boy Meavers RNG, great runner and nice person. Keep going, man. Maybe we will make it next year." Shoutouts to M Bison. Wow. So um, yeah, I can't believe I haven't even brought you up yet. If you bonk into a wall on the bike, it's not me like um, continually going in that direction. It sort of like locks the input for what seems to be a random amount of time and I've had some really bad ones where it's like I've been going into a wall for like three or four seconds and it's, it makes it look really bad but honestly <laughs> it's the controls you can pretty much blame anything in this game on either RNG or the bad controls I could YOLO this it's only a few more steps but meh nah.
So we're going to drop Blastoise in. That'll heal him. And then we're going to drop off Spiro and uh, Paris. Um, it's not just because like, of the time in the Hall of Fame. The main reason why I do that is because well, Onyx knows Raw and Pidgeot, Pidgeot knows um, Whirlwind. And if you do six turns of setup and then get Roared or Whirlwind, uh, you will hate life. It's basically run over. Um, and that has happened a, a lot. before. In the days before, I realized, oh, you can just deposit them and that never happens. Dark days. So the, uh, uh, how long Laurelly takes can vary so much. There's so much text in this, um, in this battle. Uh, hail first and is bad. I'd want hail about two or three turns in. Um, because the second po Pokemon Cloister will spam protect unless it's got another move that it wants to use. Uh, what it usually will do is like lay down spikes. Um, and then if there's no hail active, it will use hail. Uh, however, hail is going to run out um, next turn, I think. And then Dugong will probably use hail again. So I'll have to wait it out. I need to hit full restore here. Or hydro potion. Yeah, so there you go. So now I'm going to get Protect Spam. I did use an XP then, didn't I? Yeah. yeah. So, Earthquake there would put Dugong into potion range. Um, and you might think, oh, why don't you use one more X attack? Um, it's because one, using one more X attack would mean Earthquake puts Lapras into potion range. So you use four X attacks and you just hit it twice with strength. Same here. And now because I use the XP, I don't have to worry about uh, Jinx. I am slightly slower than the Jinx, but... because the XP took me over it then it's not a sweat. In um I know in Worcester's PB he got uh, really badly trolled by Laurelly. I think he got he got a like, lovely kiss twice and attracted and it basically shows you how badly um Laurelly can go. Okay, this is my least favorite fight in the game. Uh, um, I think I know what I'm going to do for it. Let's see, so let's do a super. Okay, yeah. I hope that's going to be okay. I bought extra guard specs, so if it takes a bit more setup, I've got those. If he comes out using earthquakes, then I'll have to heal, but 
If he uses rock tombs, then that's fine. We got a $5 donation from Rodro saying, Amazing to see this game done so fast. In my childhood, it took me a whole holiday. Um, yeah, I have to heal. So we, we basically get the slow Bruno fight. That was fine, wasn't it? Bruno Dan. That's a big sweat for me. Um, really unpredictable fight. What time are we up? 2.18. 2.18? Yeah. Okay, not long to go now. So I'm going in with uh, quite low HP, but I want to get the Torrent. It's a little bit risky, but... Okay, that's enough. I don't know if I've got the special to pull this off. Yeah. That's it. Yeah, I'm not sure if my special is good enough to pull one X special off. I need to heal up and just get another X special off. I didn't realize I would do four. It's actually rare that um, Gengar pulls out two Shadow Punches. It usually just sits there spamming double team. So I kind of went for it uh, while it didn't. I have a really pissy high accuracy. Uh, evasion. There you go. Always the second time. <laughs> that does mean I have to use a load of uh, X specials now because I've not got talent. Good luck. 
Uh. No, shut up, Munch. Okay, okay. More double team. Oh, God. Okay, okay, okay. okay. This will be a sweet man. That's the only Pokemon that wouldn't have died if I'd have used one less special as well. So for this fight we need to get Blizzard to a level where it's one shot in uh, all the dragons. And to a point where he can actually hit all of his dragons. Because we really you cannot um, miss a single Blizzard in this fight. You can, but you'd have to elixir. So I'm going to use two executives. Okay, now I have to heal because he has Hyper Beam. Uh, all of Lance's Pokemon have Hyper Beam. I have to hit, unfortunately because I'm outsped by Gyarados, I have to heal here. Oh, what am I talking about? <laughs> Sometimes I pay more attention to the pretty pictures than I do to what's actually going on in the bar. <laughs> Because I use two X accuracies, Blizzard can't miss here. With um, no X accuracy, it's like 75%. Uh, and with one X accuracy, it's like 90. Usually in single segment, you'll use one and then you'll just say, oh, I got unlucky if you miss one. Uh, in my, the last race we had, um, I was ahead by like five minutes or something and then had really bad luck on. I think that's okay, but I don't want to. YOLO. Um, yeah, I had really, really bad luck on Ag Agatha and got overtaken. So I just didn't use any X uh, accuracies on Lance and hit all five Blizzards in a row. I still lost the race. By four seconds, I think. Okay, last battle hope. Best music in the game, hope. Yeah. Right. So you have to heal before you go in that door, or else 
your button. Yeah, guards back guards back to protect against um sand attack. <laughs> oh, we're gonna need to use every single last item now. Because uh, I could skip an X special if Pidgeot would have put me into Torrent, but because it's sand attacking so much. Um I'm going to guard spec one more time in the next act through. Surf should kill there, but um, I'm not sure with the bad special. One hundred four is my lucky number, by the way. That means I'm definitely not going to get extreme speed crit killed in the last turn of the game. I could die to a uh, extreme speed crit here. Um, do I heal? <laughs> ah, let's go. Let's go. Let's go. This is the last turn in the game. Get ready on time, by the way. Okay, so sub 230 is like, uh, I did say it'd be between 220 and 230, so just about got there. Uh, the first arrow was a bit shaky. I guess I was a bit nervous with the, uh, being in front of the, everyone, but we got into it. The second half was pretty smooth. Nothing major went wrong. Apart from missing the gym, that, that was pretty major, I guess, but. So yeah, that's fire red leaf green any percent. Up oh, next is SM64 race. That's pretty hype. <laughs> Get hype. And final game time is. <laughs> <laughs> that's what that number says. Cool.
All right, that was Pokemon that you just saw, and uh, just a hunch, but I think he beat the Light Four and uh, became the greatest Pokemon trainer of all times. Thanks to, of course, the great assistance of our own Tingles Palace, who I'm sure you've all have seen. And now the next game that you will be seeing is Super Mario 64, a three-way race. I'm reminding you that all of these runs are part of the European Speedster Assembly 2014. We are approaching our finale. This is our last night and many of us are going to pull all nighters due to the incredible runs that you will be seeing. Starting off of course with Super Mario 64. The European Speedster Assembly is collecting money for Médecins Sans Frontières, the international independent medical humanitarian organization that delivers emergency aid to people affected by armed conflicts, epidemics, natural disasters and exclusion from healthcare. And I'm proud of myself that after all those muck-ups that I did yesterday, I finally know my way around this uh, talk again. While your donations can, of course, also go towards... Um, uh, just towards the charity itself, you can also donate for stuff. Um, there are different bids that you can check on the tracker that's hosted at gamesonsquick.com slash external slash two is our tracker. Still coming up is, for example, DuckTales Sing Along in French. We are just $200 short on that one, and you will hear Le Team du DuckTales. Uh, um, Damn, what's singing in French? I've forgotten. Well, sung en français. You can also donate for saving or killing the animals, which has raised $969.67 so far. Letting them die is at $565 and two third dollars. And it's time to save them is at error 404 at the very moment. There's also, um, yeah, noi to la, oh no, that's not sorry. Take back, taking back everything. Um, we also have backgrounds for Uncraft Me at 